How's it going guys? We have a past level question for Microfarm for step one, as well as internal medicine for 2CK, it's fair game. Tell you exactly what we need to know. Not gonna be a lengthy clip, very quick clip actually. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 34 year old man, two week history of progressive skin lesions on his right arm. Question just simply wants to know, which of the following combinations of pathophysm treatments are reflective of this image here. Okay, so as I said, not gonna be a lengthy clip. So this is a spot diagnosis for sporotrichosis. You need to know that for US Mille. No, the vignette does not have to tell you he was working in a garden and pricked himself on a rose thorn. Okay, it's too buzzy, it's too easy. Uh, obviously you can have a, a textbook example of a papule on the finger, all right? And then it'll start to track up the arm toward the axilla. That's lymphatogenous sporotrichosis, okay? So we know that this is lymphangitis, all right? Now, the way you treat sporotrichosis is simply with itraconazole, okay? So azoles are 14 alpha demethylase inhibitors. You don't give fluconazole, you give itraconazole. Doesn't fucking matter, US is not gonna uh, play gotcha and make you choose between fluconazole and itraconazole. I'm just remarking that uh, the only use case for itraconazole I've ever heard of for USMLE happens to be for sporotrichosis. Squalene epoxidase inhibition is what we have for terbinafine. Okay, topical terbinafine, classically tineapetus. Of course, you can use topical azoles for uh, tineapetus as well, clotrimazole, myconazole. Oral terbinafine is going to be used for onychomycosis, nail bed fungus, but 14 alpha demethylase. And on other NBME questions, they'll ask for azoles, and the answer will be P450 mediated demethylation reaction. Okay, sounds tricky, sounds weird, students get blindsided. Not complicated, okay? You need to know the mechanisms of action of your antifungals, but they do this on USMLE. This isn't me trying to be creative or fancy. They'll literally show you the same fucking image here, and then they'll have arteriitis, phlebitis, lymphangitis, etc. And you need to know this is lymphangitis. It's not limited to sporotrichosis. They could give you EG, 22 year old dude who burned his hand and now has a pink streak. They show you an image of a pink streak tracking up his forearm. Same deal, you're just gonna choose lymphangitis for that question. You know the deal, I'm gonna continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time, that's it.